Have you already tested using C++ or assembly language in the code that runs with ECS? I think that would be the peak performance. Well, isn't that kind of the, the point of the, the burst compilers to essentially like take your managed C sharp code and basically write it into essentially assembly language? That, that, that is, well, yeah, that's exactly what it does. Well, it, 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 it turns your IL code into LLVM IR, which is an immediate intermediate representation that a compiler called LLVM can then use to right. properly vectorize and like it's a highly researched uh, thing. It is, by the way, also very slow, which is why burst is slow. Um, <laughs> so there is that, but it also means that it actually does compile down to assembly code. And so for everything that you can burst, you get the performance of assembly. And another nice added benefit is um, it can directly call anything from C++ or C mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. without having to do any Yeah, just like you are saying, yeah. Inter interrupt. Uh, so if you were to hand write any assembly that you think you might be able to write better, which chances are uh, you won't. Uh, at least Whoa. You <laughs> think you're <laughs> think you're insulting some um, people in my audience there. I don't think you know how no, smart some of these guys are. Specifically <laughs> our own uh, engineers here. I've seen cases where we have intrinsic functions and then you go and remove those intrinsic functions and just do it the simpler way and there is no performance difference whatsoever. <laughs> like we are not infallible either, but uh, especially since we all want performance here, but it's, it's just so funny that it's like, you could have written it in the natural way and then it might have turned out to have the same performance as if you had yeah. written it in yeah. something close to assembly. Yeah. But you, I, yeah. But see, first you can also get to, you know, call something that was written and exposed as a native C function. So you write assembly, expose it as a C function and then call it from burst and that's fine. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, no, one of the cool things about the burst compiler is there's actually a burst inspector. So you can like open up a window and you can see what all the, you know, intermediate uh, language code and all that LLVM and all the way down to the assembly. You can actually like inspect that code, see what it's generating and then, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, if, if you think there is a better way that you could uh, do it yourself, you know, you could kind of compare that. Um, as well. Do you, do you do anything crazy with the burst compiler ever? I know like most of the time, personally, what I do is just, you know, put the burst compile attribute above it. But I know there's like a lot of like really crazy, like compiler hints that you can do. And like, you can go pretty, pretty in depth with it. Yeah. yeah. Do you um, use much of those features? I mean, there, there's a bunch of good ones in there. Like, so obviously I just mentioned intrinsics. Um, and there are cases where that actually does have a benefit. I will definitely recommend some of the Unite talks that Andreas Frederick mm. have done on Burst uh, Intrinsic specifically for that. Um, then there's also, um, I remember we we once added a like a prefetch. There's a bur Burst, there's some Burst hints where you like write Burst hint and, and then- Yeah, it's, uh, for, it's for like branching easy. paths, right? Yeah. What? It's for like branching paths, right? Like if you, yeah, exactly. you say you like this is this is like, like the most common, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is unlikely to happen. And you can also say prefetch, um, and prefetch will then try to um, like do a prefetch of that. Like it will mm. ensure that the next time around uh, this is already in cache. Um, and we had like a 10, 20 percent speed boost in uh, in chunk iteration. I think it was we used it for nice uh, for idiomatic reach. System API query. Nice. Yeah, because I know, yeah, that's, that's one of the things with the burst compiler is like if you have a lot of kind of branching paths, you might not end up getting the full benefits of the burst compiler because, you know, when it, it tries to group a lot of those operations together, but if you have branching paths, then you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily group, you know, a bunch of operations together that are like all within a, a loop or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Because rather, uh, rather than actually like, going through the loop and like iterating one instruction at a time, what it does is it like takes four of those loop operations, combines those all into one CPU instruction and runs that. Yes. But if you have a, a, but if you have a branch there, then you can't necessarily do that because sometimes it will run, sometimes it won't. So burst. <laughs> yeah, exactly.